Peter Warburton and musically I'm a guitarist, and songwriter and composer. Okay. And I like to compose in various styles, including classical and jazz. And this is your dream being realized in real time. So you dum da 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 and so we it's blending with the orchestra. up in Edinburgh and schooled in Edinburgh and Edinburgh's got a very particular character and a very particular uh, history and fragments of musical ideas would come to mind and uh, it felt as though it was, the fragments were connected and it was fun to paste them all together and make up what to me feels like a story. A visual story, like a film story. I just thought one day somehow I'll get round to orchestra. With it. But life happened, and I'm always very busy. And uh, it was um, then I just snapped. And one day said, "No, this is this is a bad idea. I need to to find an orchestrator." What I did was I emailed Edinburgh University to see if any of the academics at the musical department were interested in doing some work. And uh, I emailed the head of the department, Professor Peter Nelson. And um, the same afternoon, he emailed me back and put me in touch with Derek Williams. So then we, we uh, had a short phone call and I went to Derek's studio and we had a short discussion and we immediately got on like a house on fire. We had the same language, the same love of music and uh, the same humour. So um, we, this was in the summer of 2013. I had some musical sketches. It was a very effective method. We would sit together at the computer screen and keyboard and the Sibelius file was uploaded, so we already had the melody established. I had some many ideas about which instruments I wanted played in certain sections. So we had that, and I put that down on paper, on scraps of paper. And so we used that as a starting, but often it was only just a, a starting idea. And then in discussion with Derek, we would try try different instruments and you could hear it immediately because the today's modern technology allows you to play back immediately and then you can test if things work or not and i feel that edinburgh festival is orchestrated now is a it's a good finished product products maybe not the quite the right words but yes it is a product and it was well produced because you know had derek's expertise and we had the correct software tools so we could try out many different combinations of instruments until we got the desired effect. And often we would um, have long discussions, long and interesting musical discussions about what was going to be best for a certain part in the, in the piece. And Derek would often uh, just intuitively know what was the best instrument. He would just say, let's try this. And we tried it and uh, lo and behold, it, uh, it made the music come to life and that is what I was wanting from the orchestration. See, I had very particular ideas about how I wanted it. I just couldn't express it because I'm not musically trained in orchestration. And uh, that's very frustrating. But then to suddenly be able to hear it, well, that's fantastic. And audio playback from uh, uh, what's in, like, for example, in the music notation software. The uh, sample quality is very good, so it sounds, you can tell it's electronic, it's synthesized sound, but it's strongly representative enough to give you a good idea what it will, the finished piece will sound like. Well, what the piece is about, when I write descriptive texts about the piece Edinburgh Festival, I say it's inspired by two things, the Scottish Enlightenment, which was centred around Edinburgh at uh, the time of, uh, well, I don't know my history, but around about the time of the Renaissance, the Scottish Enlightenment, and also the vitality, well, the inspiration for the in International Edinburgh Festival and the vitality of the Edinburgh Festival. These are the main inspirations. How I would communicate with Derek would be by playing guitar and whistling, not by sitting down at a piano and talking about what I would consider how most musicians would talk to each other, so to speak, you know? But that didn't matter at all. Shall I just take the sheets out of the Sometimes we work to, one time we work to three in the morning. 
uh, because we were, uh, not because it was the deadline, but because we wanted to get that part right. And it was great fun to do it. And it was great fun doing it together. It was such a, such fun. And for me, it was a great feeling, liberating feeling of freedom. I could finally hear the music that I could hear, but couldn't express. Mm -hmm. And that, that for a composer, that's fantastic. And uh, then we took it a step further, because then we decided, as a following decision on, that we would rehearse it. And then that was even bigger fun, huge fun. And Derek had contacts. We got an orchestra together and recorded it in the Reed Concert Hall in Edinburgh. And uh, a morning's work, and then a lot of hard work afterwards by Derek, because Derek could produce it and also do a lot of the editing, digital editing. And Derek was very conscientious. He wanted to make sure everything was no perfect. And there was a few touch-ups that had to be done by the post-production. But uh, uh, he conscientiously worked on it, got it, got it spot on. So I don't, I don't have to feel like that. I never have felt that uh, something wouldn't be right because Derek's uh, musical ability, he would sort that. Sometimes even once Derek argued that the music should be changed because he felt it aesthetically was better. And it became very, um, became a debate. We had this heated debate about whether it was there, whether that should happen or not. So then all the debates were great. Thank you.